Foreman. I'm going to start off with the IT bands. I'm just going to roll up the IT bands. This is not pleasant. I don't know, for some of you guys, it's a lot less pleasant. Rolls, about 10 to 15 rolls per side. If you have, uh, they're really tied to a lot of paint. Obviously, the more is better. And just try to relax the muscle as much as you can. And if you need to take it slow and work on a specific spot, you can do that too. Okay. My IT bands are pretty, it seems like they're pretty clean right now. Not a lot of trigger points on there. So that's good. Um, yeah, off them on the other side. So there we go. IT bands goes from the hip. Uh, works down into the knee. It's a very thick tissue where a lot of muscles insert into. Uh, so they, be, they can become quite worked. Ooh, this one's a little bit more tender. So again, if you need to slow down, you can work a little spot and work down a little bit more. All right, so work out those IT bands. Perfect. And uh, what? So we're going to go from the hips down to the knees. Put more of your load on one side. Start on the uh, up closer to the hip, move down toward the knee. So I got a little spot right there. If you've been doing a lot of sitting, you're probably really feeling this. Okay, so roll it out, take some time. This is an active roll. So you're stretching and activating. Good. So switch sides. So again, you can take it slow. You know, okay, that little spot right there. This does not feel fantastic, but it's beneficial. All right. A little bit of active rolling. Starting at the knee, bending slowly as you roll up. This is a way you can accelerate the stretch and get those quads loosened up. All right. I want to hit the glutes. Uh, I find very, very the glutes cross the leg over. Can sit, start at the top of the butt, roll down a little bit. I have my own little technique with this. Want to see it? So I get down, right at the big glute, and actually you twist this way a little bit. So you're almost like balancing on the, on the roller. That will accelerate the stretch. All right, so feel that out. All right, good. Move that aside. Again, starting right at the top of the glute, you roll down. You'll feel some tightness in there, and you can spend a little bit of time on that. So my special technique, like I'm bringing out the tissue, really driving uh, blood flow into the tissue. Okay, if you got really uh, you know, a specific little muscle in there, it's a piriformis, that uh, one can get short and tight. Some of you guys have experienced that one, uh, so they can be really tender. So if it's really tender, obviously just lessen the amount of pressure that you put on it. I like to roll to my back. So, the general rule you're rolling the low back, you're not arching over it, you're actually going to tuck. So, this untuck, tuck the hip, and as you roll on one side of the spine, roll on the other side of the spine, roll the fold. I like to open it up. So, that you can get those adjustments. And same thing with the other back. You can roll on one side of the spine, other side of the spine, both. And for some of you guys with postural issues, this is a great way you can actually mobilize or 
uh, spend some time to open up the upper back. Okay? So, you clasp behind the head, inhale, lift back, open up the elbows, just hang out here. Generally, if you're doing anything we call a bit mobilization, like just hanging out. Mobilization, just focusing on one part of the back and just opening it up, opening it up, opening it up. So, the more uh, curvature you have in your upper back, like this, the more you want to go like this. Okay? Alright, cool. That's the, uh, that's the four more. Uh, we're going to start off the top, just to loosen up the neck a little bit. Okay. I like to set my shoulders. Just move the head from side to side. Inhale, exhale as you go to the side. As you move to one side, pull the opposite shoulder down. Good. Chest up, tuck the chin, roll it down, roll it up. Tuck and roll, roll. That's good. Some shoulder rolls. Good. And away. Shoulder rolls. Yeah, if you guys have already done your warm up, just fast forward, obviously. Alright, good. Just gonna go right into the hips. Uh, the back, so we're gonna do it. Kind of like tuck, round, flex the spine, inhale, arch it, exit, tuck, inhale, arch, inhale, align, and you're just gonna get some movement in that back. That's good. Hips forward, relax on hips. Drop into your spine, chest up. And open it up. So this is a squat and stand. And extension.
Hey, is this something? Yep. Hi, guys. Uh, I hope you are well. Uh, you know, I'm speaking to my one family. Maybe there's some of you guys that uh, are not part of this gym that are also watching and participating in the workout. If that's the case, welcome. Um, but I'm speaking directly to my good one family because these are for you. Um, we are on day three of April's workout. And uh, although it's still hard, but anyway, we're in, we're, in a, we're in a new phase for this month's training. And today's workout is a 30 50 metabolic circuit. We have six exercises. Uh, each exercise we're going to do for 30 seconds. And we have a 15 second rest and transition to go to the next exercise. Okay? So uh, we're doing four cycles, four rounds. So we need 30 seconds of work with the 15 second rest, 30 seconds of work with the 15 second rest, 30 seconds of work with the 15 second rest, so on and so forth, for six exercises. Okay? Um, so the, today's exercises, we have a kettlebell swing or a hip hinge. Um, if you do not have a kettlebell or a, a dumbbell where you can do those type of swings, then you could do something that doesn't require weight, and I'll show you what that is. But, uh, okay, so we have a kettlebell or a hip dominant exercise. Then we're going to do a push up. We're going to do a push up or a, a push dominant exercise. Then we're going to do a, uh, what do we have next? I think we have a bear squat. So, bear squat, uh, which is a knee dominant exercise. And then we're going to have a little bit of back, um, we have a dumbbell row or a band row. Uh, then we have a, a plank variation, so we're going to be doing a push up uh, walk up. And last one is a high knee skip, running on the spot, jumping jacks, whichever cardio version that you want to use is up to you. The whole idea is to get the heart rate up, okay? Um, that's it. That's the workout. Let me go through the exercises. So the first exercise is kettlebell swing. Okay. So I'm going to use 35 to warm up. If you have a lighter load, you can use that. Just remember with your kettlebell swing, it's a hip dominant exercise. So what that means is we're primarily dominantly using the hips. Boom. So we're going to bend the knees 20 degrees, push our hips back, hinge, and then pop that weight up. Okay? Leg drive, hips snap, abs tight, shoulders pack, and then runs. Leg drive, hips snap, abs tight, shoulders pack. Alright, here we go. So from here, start at the position, shoulders pack, get the momentum, pull it back, and then drive it back. Okay, so keep the abs tight, leg drive, hip snap, abs tight, shoulder tight. Put it down the same way you do that. If you want to use a dumbbell, you can use a dumbbell. If you want to just use, if you don't have weights, it's a hip dominant exercise, you can do something like this. Bend the knees. Go forward. We're still using the hips. You're going to balance. Okay? Or, and you can switch to the other side. This is if you don't have weight. Okay? I'll put that in, in the PDF so you'll see that. 
Second exercise is a break dance and push up. Break dance and push up. Start in push up position, pack the shoulders. From here, do push up, come up, go, whoa, touch the knee to the elbow, the back. Okay. Now, when I switch to the side, my opposite knee is coming up, touching my opposite elbow. Boom. Okay. Now, if you look, my foot's flat on the floor. That, help, that helps me with balance. And then you back. You push up, switch, push up, switch. Watch my feet. All right. That is your push up. Break dance and push up. I love that. I love that. Uh, Okay. The next exercise is a very small. I know your shoulders are probably a little bit toasty. But from here we start with downward dog. Drop the hips down, push back. Next, we have a dumbbell bent row. The focus is working the back, uh, just the back, back, mid back, rear of the shoulders. Important with this one is to drive the elbows past the lips, pull and pack the shoulders up on top. Feel the squeeze in the middle. Again, you can use whatever load is right for you. Hinge forward at the hips. Try to drive those past the hips. Another option. If you have a band, put the band in your feet. You can pick up both. See that? Bend over at the hips and roll. Same idea. The resistance increases at the top. All right? That's another option. If you don't have those options, you can simply do bent over T rays. T rays. Okay? Um, Push up, walk out. So, push up, walk out. It's like an inchworm. We walk as far forward as we can. Go from here. And back up. Okay? Uh, the idea is to only walk out when your hands past your shoulders. Make sure you tilt and engage the core. Do not go further than what you can hold yourself in. If you can't hold yourself in that position, you have the possibility of falling on your face and really hurt yourself. So only go on as far as you can hold yourself in that position. All right, last exercise. Um, marching on the spot, running on the spot, Nice and simple, get ready to jump and jack, you can. Just need something that's tiny and light that's going to get that heart rate. Okay? Um, so, march on the spot. If your right leg goes up, your left hand goes up. Okay? Grab a drink. Let's get to the workout. I'll see you in a minute. Welcome back. So now you guys are hydrated, and hopefully you're, you've been hydrating all day, or maybe this is the morning for you. So you're hydrated.
You have the war gun in front of you. You're hydrated, you've got the war gun in front of you. You've looked at the workout. You understand what exercises that you're going to be doing for the workout. And now you're ready to go. All right? If you need a mat or anything like that, make sure you have that available. And the last thing is you've got to make sure you've got a timer. All right? Hopefully you guys can hear me. I put the music up and then you know a little bit of music. And uh, that's it. All right. We're going to get started. I'm going to put the timer on. And let's just chill this workout, guys. All right. We're going to start in 10 seconds. So again, you want to warm up. Brace, core. Thank you. 
squat
10 seconds. All right, guys. Marches or high knee skips. Go. Keep up your breathing.
I just hate the hate the bother of the sweat going in my eyes. They're kind of distracting during the workout. All right, nice. Um, you guys need to go up the glutes. Actually, I'm gonna do one little pull on the back. I'll do this at the end of my workout. If you guys put pain in the low back, then kick the 
Pick that a little bit. Okay. So just roll down the low back muscle. That'll help to loosen it up. And remember when you do it one side, you on the other side. All right. Um, yeah, so we're going to do a pigeon stretch. So I personally like to hold my uh, myself upright, keeping a natural arch on my low back. Uh, when you do that, you're going to feel more of a stretch going to your, your hip rotators, or um, just like around the glute area and your hips, you'll feel more of a stretch. Now, when you guys can get your butt cheek down onto the ground, usually that takes, I mean, about 30 seconds or so, before it touches when it touches, then you guys can more pull, uh, whatever you like, you cross your arms, more pull. And always breathe through your stretches. So this is an opportunity to um, activate what they call the parasympathetic nervous system, which is uh, basically your rest. They call it rest and digest. It's uh, just another way of relaxing the body through your breath. So make sure as you're going through your stretches that you're focusing on the breath using diaphragmatic breaths. You can go into the nose, out to the mouth, the second view of stretch. Nice. So anywhere from 30 to 30 seconds to 60 seconds, you'll get the maximum benefit of the stretch. All right. This side is a little bit tighter. Now right now my back foot is cramping up. So if your back foot is cramping up, just uh, stick the back foot and just bend it. Instead of being here, be here. Um, So as soon as that front leg butt cheek touches the ground, and you guys can uh, forward fold if you like, or you can just hover up on top. Here you don't want to be looking at my head. Or my eyes. This is very uncomfortable because I'm talking to myself right now. That's okay. I spend most of my days talking to myself. Out. Okay, that's good enough for that. <laughs> all, right. Uh, all right, so we did a lot of hip flexion. So we, as you go down to the squat, you do a lot of hip flexion. So you're really uh, utilizing uh, hip flexors. So this is a way that you guys can roll out those for uh, stretch of the hip flexors. It's called a forearm quad. So take your back heels, put your back heels on the ground. Um, keep all of the support on the forearms and then tuck the hips, and then allow your hips to come forward using your breath. Let it sink, okay. So, this is right here, heels down, here, tuck this way, and then bring the hips down. I know some of you guys have crazy uh, uh, mobility and flexibility in your hips. And your hips can go all the way out to the ground and bend you. Nice. So bring the knees in. Uh, you know, just loose up the hips. Bring, rotate your hips around. Nice. Uh, floor bone. Grab the outside of the ankles. We're going to do it in two phases. Inhale, exhale. Five seconds. Inhale, exhale, pull it in, lift. So inhale, exhale. Inhale. Stretch. Okay, put that palms down, down the floor, elbow pit down the floor, bend the opposite knee, and then go up and over. The idea is to get this foot, take it up as high as you can, and try to place on the floor. You can also 
also do with it with this hand here is you can walk down an ankle. All right, cool. Switch. So you can do it with your legs straight, or you can bend your leg. Okay. Either one is fine. And you bring your chest in, lift it up, chin in. Put your elbow on the side of the knee, the back. Nice guys. Hope you guys are working on it.